Yeah, we lost to a better team. Um, obviously, it was going to become difficult if we conceded a second goal. Because uh, at half time they scored early on, which is the last thing we really wanted. But I thought we regrouped and kept ourselves in the game in the first half and worked hard to restrict the chances. Although there were a couple of good ones that they didn't score from. But we always knew that our hope would have to be to reproduce that and not to, to give away an early second goal because they were playing very well, mate. We were fighting hard to really get a foothold in the game. Worse than the second goal, we can see the second and third one very quickly. The second one in particular from a counter attack, we're giving the ball away in midfield. And after that, of course, you're looking at 30 minutes left to play against a very competent and a very skillful Manchester City team. And we've just got to try and keep going, which we did, to be fair. I can't criticise the players at all for that. But the bottom line today was that we, we came here with dreams and hopes of being able to dent Man City and put a put some sort of a blemish on their home record, but we weren't able to do so. They were the better team and they won they won deservedly and they won convincingly. Did you notice the uh, sort of uplifting atmosphere obviously when you took the crowd that the city sort of improved improved after that? Yeah of course they did, yeah. But I thought they played well throughout to be fair. I thought the defensive they were very strong and of course, you know, all the big guns were out there tonight, all the talented players individually and, you know, for people like Billy Jones and Craig Dawson who are fairly new to the Premier League, it's a, it's a, it's a tough ask to play against this quality of player. It really is. Nicky, Nicky Shaw, he hasn't played for three or four weeks. So it was always going to be a very tough ask, but as I say, I'm disappointed to have lost it by such a, a big margin because during my time at West Brom we haven't had many heavy defeats. I think we've had a 3 nil. We've not actually ever had more than a 3 nil. So that's a that's a major disappointment, I guess, or a major blow to my pride uh, and the team's pride. But the bottom line is that tonight, unfortunately, we didn't have the wherewithal to really hurt Manchester City and they had plenty in their armory to hurt us. Well, you made a few changes today. Was that due to fatigue or no, yeah, but injury problems. I mean, Ridgewell and Brunt were not able to play. Um, Odin Wingy and Fortunay could have played, of course, you know, they, uh, and McCauley could have played. But, you know, to be frank, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't sure that we could come up here with whatever team we played and, and, and win this one. Um, but it is going to be very important for us to give a good performance on Saturday. And I think at this late stage of the season, which has taken a lot out of us, you know, getting ourselves into a pretty safe position after 32 games has taken an awful lot out of us and uh, I was very concerned that we wouldn't be able to do it with the same team for three games. We had to had to use the contingency. Did you get enough evidence from that that the might be five points in five games? Well, obviously five points in five games is a, a lot better odds than eight points in, in five games and Alex will be disappointed not to have got something from the Wigan game. I don't think, honestly, he'd have probably been looking at the fixtures saying that Man City will get beat tonight by West Brom. That's that's not a realistic appraisal of the situation. But um, five points is still five points. So, you know, it, they, they've got to take those five points in. So the type of race is a little bit more interesting after tonight's results than it was before tonight's results. But there's still an awful long way to go. Um, I think both Manchester United and Manchester City are are both in good form, they're both playing very well, they're, they're both very, very difficult teams to beat, so we'll have to wait and see, I think it's more of a problem for some of the teams fighting down the bottom that uh, Man United will now have the bit between their teeth again because you know, maybe some of the teams who are fighting for survival might have been hoping that either Man City or Man United might knock off a little bit and accept their situation, whereas now of course they're going to be fighting tooth and nail all the way through. Yes. Yeah. Anyone else? Thank you very much.